Welcome. 15 minute coronavirus test ID now polymerase chain reaction. 15 minute coronavirus test ID now by Abbott polymerase chain reaction. The technology behind the 15 minute coronavirus test looks for genes that are present in the virus, similar to PCR. The test runs on the Abbott's ID now platform a 6.6-pound portable device the size of a small toaster. There are currently about 18,000 ID Now instruments in the U.S. the most widely available molecular point-of-care testing platform in the nation. Unlike high-throughput batch testing platforms that can run hundreds of tests at a time but take several hours, the ID Now platform is a benchtop instrument used at physician offices and urgent care clinics. The platform is typically used to run tests for other respiratory illnesses, such as the flu, strep and RSV, and similarly uses samples from throat and nose swabs. Because of its small size, it can be used in more non-traditional places where people can have their results in a matter of minutes. Bringing an alternate testing technology to combat the novel coronavirus. When not being used for COVID-19 testing, ID Now is the leading molecular point of care platform for influenza A and B, strep A and respiratory syncytial virus testing. Polymerase chain reaction. Polymerase chain reaction is a method widely used in molecular biology to rapidly make millions to billions of copies of a specific DNA sample, allowing scientists to take a very small sample of DNA and amplify it to a large enough amount to study in detail. PCR was invented in 1983 by Kerry Mullis. It is fundamental to much of genetic testing, including analysis of ancient samples of DNA and identification of infectious agents. Using PCR, copies of very small amounts of DNA sequences are exponentially amplified in a series or cycles of temperature changes. PCR is now a common and often indispensable technique used in medical laboratory and clinical laboratory research for a broad variety of applications including biomedical research and criminal forensics. The majority of PCR methods rely on thermal cycling. Thermal cycling exposes reactants to repeated cycles of heating and cooling to permit different temperature-dependent reactions specifically. DNA melting and enzyme-driven DNA replication. PCR employs two main reagents primers and a DNA polymerase. In the first step of PCR, the two strands of the DNA double helix are physically separated at a high temperature in a process called nucleic acid denaturation. In the second step, the temperature is lowered and the primers bind to the complementary sequences of DNA. The two DNA strands then become templates for DNA polymerase to enzymatically assemble a new DNA strand from free nucleotides. The building blocks of DNA. As PCR progresses, the DNA generated is itself used as a template for replication, setting in motion a chain reaction in which the original DNA template is exponentially amplified. Almost all PCR applications employ a heat-stable DNA polymerase such as TAC polymerase, an enzyme originally isolated from the thermophilic bacterium Thermus aquaticus. If the polymerase used was heat susceptible, it would denature under the high temperatures of the denaturation step. Before the use of TAC polymerase, DNA polymerase had to be manually added every cycle, which was a tedious and costly process. Applications of the technique include DNA cloning for sequencing gene cloning and manipulation, gene mutagenesis, construction of DNA-based phylogenies, or functional analysis of genes, diagnosis and monitoring of hereditary diseases, amplification of ancient DNA, analysis of genetic fingerprints for DNA profiling, and detection of pathogens in nucleic acid tests for the diagnosis of infectious diseases. Principles PCR amplifies a specific region of a DNA strand. Most PCR methods amplify DNA fragments of between 0.1 and 10 kilo base pairs in length, although some techniques allow for amplification of fragments up to 40 kbp. 
The amount of amplified product is determined by the available substrates in the reaction, which become limiting as the reaction progresses. Stages As with other chemical reactions, the reaction rate and efficiency of PCR are affected by limiting factors. Thus, the entire PCR process can further be divided into three stages based on reaction progress, exponential amplification, at every cycle. The amount of product is doubled. After 30 cycles, a single copy of DNA can be increased up to 1 billion copies. In a sense, then, the replication of a discrete strand of DNA is being manipulated in a tube under controlled conditions. The reaction is very sensitive, only minute quantities of DNA must be present. Leveling off stage, the reaction slows as the DNA polymerase loses activity and as consumption of reagents, such as DNTPs and primers, causes them to become more limited. Plateau no more product accumulates due to exhaustion of reagents and enzyme. Infectious disease applications PCR allows for rapid and highly specific diagnosis of infectious diseases, including those caused by bacteria or viruses. PCR also permits identification of non-cultivatable or slow-growing microorganisms such as mycobacteria, anaerobic bacteria or viruses from tissue culture assays and animal models. The basis for PCR diagnostic applications in microbiology is the detection of infectious agents and the discrimination of non-pathogenic from pathogenic strains by virtue of specific genes. Characterization and detection of infectious disease organisms have been revolutionized by PCR in the following ways, the human immunodeficiency virus is a difficult target to find and eradicate. The earliest tests for infection relied on the presence of antibodies to the virus circulating in the bloodstream. However, antibodies don't appear until many weeks after infection, maternal antibodies mask the infection of a newborn, and therapeutic agents to fight the infection don't affect the antibodies. PCR tests have been developed that can detect as little as one viral genome among the DNA of over 50,000 host cells. Infections can be detected earlier, donated blood can be screened directly for the virus, newborns can be immediately tested for infection. And the effects of antiviral treatments can be quantified. Some disease organisms, such as that for tuberculosis, are difficult to sample from patients and slow to be grown in the laboratory. PCR-based tests have allowed detection of small numbers of disease organisms, inconvenient samples. Detailed genetic analysis can also be used to detect antibiotic resistance, allowing immediate and effective therapy. The effects of therapy can also be immediately evaluated. The spread of a disease organism through populations of domestic or wild animals can be monitored by PCR testing. In many cases, the appearance of new virulent subtypes can be detected and monitored. The subtypes of an organism that were responsible for earlier epidemics can also be determined by PCR analysis. Viral DNA can be detected by PCR. The primers used must be specific to the targeted sequences in the DNA of a virus, and PCR can be used for diagnostic analyses or DNA sequencing of the viral genome. The high sensitivity of PCR permits virus detection soon after infection and even before the onset of disease. Such early detection may give physicians a significant lead time in treatment. The amount of virus in a patient can also be quantified by PCR-based DNA quantitation techniques. Diseases such as pertussis are caused by the bacteria Bordetella pertussis. This bacteria is marked by a serious acute respiratory infection that affects various animals and humans and has led to the deaths of many young children. The pertussis toxin is a protein exotoxin that binds to cell receptors by two dimers and reacts with different cell types such as T lymphocytes, which plays a role in cell immunity. 
PCR is an important testing tool that can detect the sequences that are within the pertussis toxin gene. This is because PCR has a high sensitivity for the toxin and has demonstrated a rapid turnaround time. PCR is very efficient for diagnosing pertussis when compared to culture. 15-Minute Coronavirus Test ID Now Polymerase Chain Reaction Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.